to another of Multilingua's free English lessons with me, Abby. And with me, Brian. In today's video, we are going to talk about colours. And soldiers. Let's chat, chat about, about that. that. So, Abby, mm -hmm. I heard that you started a new hobby. Yes, I love colouring. Ooh, colouring. Mm -hmm. What are you colouring today? Today, I'm colouring my friend, Richard the soldier. Ooh, what colours does he need? He needs red. What's next, Brian? Hmm, I think he needs orange. Hmm. What's next? What does he need? Um, I think... Yellow? Yellow. Ah, not bad. Not mm. bad. Now, what does he need now? Now, green. Brian, he's looking good. He is. Yeah. What's what's next? Um, some blue. Mm, blue. Blue. Almost done. What's left? Hmm. Indigo. Almost done! And finally? Mm, violet. So, do you remember the seven colours that we used on our soldier friend over here? Okay, let's see how good your memory is. Okay, what's this colour over here? Mm -hmm. Red. Good. Good, well done. And the other colour that we had was this one. What is this colour? Orange. Okay, and here, what's this colour? Yellow. Good. Mm -hmm. How about this one? What colour is this? Green. Good. Good. Okay, this colour over here is next. Blue, good. Mm -hmm. And how about this colour? Mm. What colour is this? A bit difficult, this one. Indigo. There they go. Indigo. And the last one over here. Do you remember? Violet. Very good. Violet. Okay, Abby, why did we choose these seven colours? Because they are the colours of the rainbow. Ooh. Abby, is there an easy way that we can remember all these colours? It certainly is. Hmm. You should tell them, Brian. If we look at the first letter. Remember, Richard of York, this guy. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Richard of York gave battle in vain. If you remember, Richard of York gave battle in vain, you will always remember the seven colours of the rainbow. Okay, you've remembered the words, but can you pronounce them properly? Okay, we're going to look at the words and we're going to find if there are words with a similar sound so that we can remember them easier. Okay. Red. Red. What is the sound that I have here? Sound is e. E. 
Can you find one more word in this list, one more color that has the same sound, the E sound? Yellow. Good. The sound over here, the E, yellow. Okay, now let's look at a different sound, which is this one over here. Orange. Not orange, but orange. Orange. What is the sound that I have over here? The sound is U. Or Orange. Orange. Can you try and remember what other color had this sound? Have you found it? It's here. It's not violet, it's violet. Violet. Lit. Lit. Violet. Okay, one last thing that we're going to look at today are two long sounds that we have in some of these colors here. Can you remember what this sound is? The E. E sound, so a long sound. Green, green. Okay, long sound. Can you try and remember which other color had a long sound in it? It's not the E, but it's a long sound. Good. Blue, blue, the oo sound. Okay, so another fun fact about colors. We have primary and secondary colors. Our primary colors are red, um, yellow, and blue. Okay, so the secondary colors are the primary colors but mixed. So if we mix red and yellow, um, we get orange. And if we mix, if we mix the yellow and the blue, we get green. Now, if we mix red and blue, we get violet, okay? Another word for violet, a more common, more usual word for violet is purple. Okay, and that is our primary and secondary colors. Okay, very important. Do not forget, colors are adjectives in English. Okay, where do we put adjectives? Before or after a noun? We put them before the noun. Okay, so for example, a red pen. Don't forget that adjectives do not change form. If you have one, if you have two, if it's a female, if it's a male, no changes. So, for example, a red pen, two red pens. So, what's your favorite color and why? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. Share us with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more brilliant videos like this. So from me, Abby, me, Brian, and our friend Richard, thank, thank you very you. much. Bye! Bye.